estimated that up to one million cats and dogs are at risk of becoming homeless. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals says that's because of the struggling economy. A local nonprofit group that's been helping pet owners and caretakers is now struggling too. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez has the story. He's such a sweet dog. Meet Froggy, a 13-year-old pit bull who is lucky to be alive. He was just adopted by Stacy Phillips and her husband in June. People say he's lucky, but we're the lucky ones. We, we get to share a home with him. Froggy's fate didn't look promising earlier this year. Barbara Ross had been fostering the arthritic dog after his original owner died from diabetes. Ross says balancing her budget with the bad economy was rough. They, there were vet bills and they're walking the dogs. I'm not, I was never home, so I had to pay for a dog walker seven days a week. It's very rewarding, but it's really hard on the pocket. So in step Betsy Goldman and her new group, Friends of Animal Rescue, a nonprofit organization that directly pays the pet bills for any animal caretaker, like Ross, who can't make ends meet. Someone's fallen on hard economic times, which so many people have now, and they can't afford dog food. And maybe if we just, you know, pay for their dog food for six months, they can hold on to their dog. Foster mom Phyllis Tiana was almost forced to euthanize Rosie, a severely emaciated dog who desperately needed surgery after being abused in a dog fighting ring. Friends of Animal Rescue picked up the medical bill. Rosie bounced back and was adopted by this loving couple. I was so happy and relieved because I knew it was a life and she, she really meant a lot. In their short time in existence, Friends of Animal Rescue has saved about 50 animals from euthanasia, but they can't do the work alone. They need the public's help. We need money, and we promise you that when we get the money, we're going to spend it in the best way possible to save lives. Because while Froggy and Rosie have found happy homes, there are still a lot more animals like Gracie and Nero who still need a family to call their own. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Well, if you'd like to help Friends of Animal Rescue or if you want to adopt Gracie or Nero, seen at the end of Hazel's story, you can head to our website, WCBS.com, and click on the links and numbers, and you're shaking your head. Sweet doggies. Beautiful. Sweet. Coming up, the weather not so sweet.